What is up, everybody? We're back at it. Another fun problem for your PE exam. This is coming out of structures. Uh, this could actually be found in other areas, but we're going to label it as structures. And we're talking about stresses. So hopefully, uh, you know, after doing this, it won't stress you out anymore. But let's dive into it. In objects, shear and normal stresses are shown below. Shear and normal stresses. Let's go ahead and look at that. So these are your normal stresses. This is your stress in the y direction and this is your shear and this is also your stress in the what direction? x direction. So uh, that's what we're shown here. What is the maximum shear stress in the object most nearly? Okay so now, now that we have this um, we need to solve for what the maximum shear stress is. And the first thing you're going to want to know is, well, what are the sign conventions? Is this positive? Is the way this is drawn negative? Well, what's going to help you out with that is if you turn to the Civil Engineering Reference Manual. Chapter 44 deals with all these kinds of stresses. And we're going to look at figure, big, 44.6. And based on that figure, you will see that this is actually drawn negative. Our shear here is drawn positive, and our stress in the y and the x direction is drawn positive as well. And the reason why we need that is because we're going to bust out a beautiful equation, and we need to know those signs. So the next thing we're going to go is uh, we're going to go to equation 44.20, and that tells us that our shear max max is equal to plus or minus, that's max or min, one half the square root of this big old beautiful thing, square root of our stress in the x direction minus our stress in the y direction, that's all squared, plus two times your shear, and that's all squared. So let's go ahead and plug in what we know and solve this thing. So if we just plug all this in, we basically get do, 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 one half square root, I can draw, yes I can, that is 10,000 minus stress in the y direction, oh that's a negative, so we have to do a minus, uh, that is 2,000, and this is all squared plus two times our shear, which is 2,500, and that's squared. So what, the, what does that get you? If you solve for this, punch it in your calculator, you get an answer here of 6,500 PSI. And that is the max shear stress in the object. So this is a, this is a great problem that you'll find on the PE exam and hopefully this will uh, get you used to using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual and knowing which equations to use for this type of problem. Anyway, that wraps us up. We will see you on the next one. Bye.